if hell's not as hot as that, then uh, I want my money back. <laughs> Brittany. Brittany Miazik is here for an experiment. She worked as an iron worker on top of scorching Coke ovens, like the one pictured here. She believes the extreme heat they produce might have caused her periods to stop. Well, my body definitely did not like it. As soon as I switched jobs, my body started producing my menstruation cycle once again. She's at Brock University to test her body in normal and extreme heat. First, she walks on a treadmill and lifts sandbags in regular room conditions of 22 degrees Celsius, 50% humidity. Then she repeats it in her work gear at 40 degrees Celsius with 50% humidity, which will mimic the Coke ovens. Researchers monitor her heart rate, temperature, and comfort levels. Almost immediately, she starts sweating. I'm pretty much doing this just to kind of further the science of women working in such extreme temperatures. We know that when the body is exposed to high heat, its metabolic rate rises. This causes the hypothalamus, a part of the brain that controls body temperature, to respond and adjust energy use. The hypothalamus will focus its energy on the vital functions, the thing we need to survive, you know, heart rate, breathing, and it will, it will shunt energy away from reproduction or fat storage. And one of the consequences can be that women lose their periods. Occupational heat stress guidelines require that people stay under 38 degrees Celsius for the entire eight hour workday. During the heat test, her body temperature went above that. I definitely think it's important and I, I feel lucky to be able to be a part of it. It's not about who has it worse, it's literally just about the differences and how it affects you know, male and female bodies differently.